So 420 was yesterday and the Freedom Rally happened at the same time. And Captain Sweep went down there. First public appearance in months. <sighs> Thinking this might be the time, this might be the moment, this might be the reason to speak the truth to the people. Mm -hmm. This was not the time. This was not even close to being the time. It's hard to be a prophet and no one sort of wants any of your prophetizing. It's very depressing. I can see in the old days how, boy, they just start ranting and raving, just trying to get attention, right? Oh, there's just so many <clears throat> distractions. There's so many people, so many interesting people, beautiful people, amazing people doing amazing things on the net. I watch them all the time. They get millions of views. It's okay. It builds fortitude. Sometimes your message just isn't heard yet. Sometimes it's going to take a while. Captain Sweep has to build the right container so they can handle what happens. Because I know that the very secret plan is like the best plan on the planet. You show me your plan. I'll show you my plan. Each of us gets maybe half hour, maybe an hour each. And then let's see which plan is the most comprehensive, has the most levels, has the mo most aspects, is the most long-term, takes into account the most blocks, takes into account the human mind, takes into account the need of the situation, the need of the moment. Yeah, let's just compare plans, right? But most people, they just don't like to hear Captain Sweep's plan is too comprehensive. It's too much. It overwhelms people. It's just too much, too many maps, too many ideas, too many aspects. Well, I got to tell you something. Not quite yet. You see, you can't tell anybody anything unless they're paying attention. And I can see it in everybody's eyes. I can feel it in their minds. I can embrace the distance. Because you're thinking in a very limited way. You're thinking in your own little world about you you're probably thinking about your family and your friends. You might be thinking about your community. But are you thinking about the whole species? Are you thinking about what's going on, on the planet right now? Are you thinking about your connection to this bigger political picture that we're all involved in? My guess is you are now because things are starting to get more creepy, more zombie-like, more weird, more like the movies, more like they've been telling us they're gonna do and now they're doing it and we're just going, by da ba ba bum 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 Do you understand that one of the highest values for Canadians right now is complacency? Complacency. Watching something occur that is insane and doing nothing about it except participating except maybe fighting online about this and that, right and wrong, left and right, whatever you think is going on, but <clears throat> you're missing the big picture completely. And the one person, that conspiracy theorist, has been telling you things for years. He's telling you things now, but you're like, oh, are they ever gonna shut up? I just don't wanna hear it. <laughs> I'm doing my thing. And now, now with travel restrictions, vaccine passports, now the 5G surveillance network coming in, you just might begin to be thinking that maybe things aren't quite like you think they are. 
maybe just a teeny weeny bit, they're not telling the truth about COVID. Maybe all those PCR tests, where all the false positives come from to talk about all the cases that are, that are occurring, maybe that's off. And maybe all those deaths they said that were occurring with those huge models that projected into the future saying, this is what's gonna happen. And they use that information to do what they're doing without scientific evidence. Maybe you just might begin to think things aren't so good background in the back rooms. You see, it's the people to protect the freaking nutballs that are the problem. The freaking nutballs are over there hiding, pulling their strings, doing all their world insanity plan things. And then you got the mid management, all the people who actually know what they're doing, but they're getting paid so well. So they, you know, they're part of the whole thing. And then they're managing the next layer that are getting paid, but have no idea. The cops, the army, all of the enforcement of the justice systems on the planet. These people, you know, for the most part, my guess is they believe in goodness. They want to do right. And they're actually good people. You know, maybe there's some corruption. Maybe they're mean. Maybe they do stupid things. But for the most part, most people in their hearts, they want to consider themselves good people and they want to stand for something that's real. But then they get involved in these larger big systems and realize, oh my God, you know, can't change that. A part of it, I got to adapt. So the masses, us, the public, we are being controlled by these multiple levels that the farther you go up, the more they get hidden. And so we're always dealing with people kind of like ourselves on the same team in some made up combat or battle because the guys at the top the freaking nutballs have designed a system and are implementing a plan that has us all fighting one another and has us not understanding that they are the cause and if you don't take that into account in any of your issues in any of your assessments then you're missing it. So you could be, let's say, going, no, it's that race, it's that religion, it's that person, it's that this, it's that this. All you're pointing your fingers at trying to figure out why we're in such a mess, because we're in a mess. And it's going to get messier unless we learn to get more organized, intelligent, and use the trueness of who we are and the situation we want to create. And that comes from kind of what the corporations are doing in a sense, organization. And if you don't have organization, you're just a bunch of stranded individuals uh, shouting into the wind with no real power to affect any change or to protect yourself. So Captain Sweep, moi, says that to get organized, we need to get within certain info tax, which is already happening but to bring together a media system where we are our own media to ourselves. And we start to use that media for just ourselves to organize ourselves in such a way that we can protect ourselves because we have the numbers and what they have are the control mechanisms on the large infotex. And because of that, they can control us and shut us down. If anyone gets too loud, if anyone gets too strong, if anyone gets too much of an audience, they shut it down. That's why I'm so good. I have no audience. They have no idea about the very secret plan because I am so sneaky with how I've been doing it. Hmm. You got to have layers. You got to have decoys. You got to have a different way of doing things. When they look at you, they have no idea that you are actually the thing that is going to take them down. Ooh. Got a victory in your plan. If you don't have victory in your plan, then what are you doing? You're always reacting to their moves. And their moves are getting you positioned into a worse and worse place because you have no plan and they have a plan. So that said, Captain Sweep has a bunch of things, fires in the iron, has a bunch of uh, tools, tools.
tools to assist teams to come together to get organized. And if you are listening to this right now, you have some interest in participating in this. That's why I sent this to you because I have been speaking about this for quite a long time. And this is like my line in the sand or my invitation or my introduction to the very secret plan, to the people that know me, and most importantly, to the people who don't. Because the people who know me, you're already in the plan, whether you know it or not. I've already designed you in. I'm waiting for you just to show up a little bit more so you can participate. But you're sort of lost in your own world, doing your own thing. You don't really believe in Captain Sweep or the plan, so we're not really connected. But in time, you will realize that the plan is good for you. It's good for us. It's good for everyone. It's good for the big picture. It's not just Captain Sweep trying to get you to do something that you don't want to do in this moment. The end design is you designing your ideal job in a larger infrastructure called a shared knowledge community. That shared knowledge community offers infrastructure and marketing to all these independent contractors that are having a hard time by themselves. We need support, we need infotech integration, and we need the ability to have commerce between ourselves, open book accounting, in such a manner that is fair for us and fair for everyone we deal with. That's the essence of new paradigm business. It's a win, 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 win everywhere. But first, in a sense, we have to deal a bit with the situation as it is now. And that is we are under attack. And if you don't see that, then you're missing the boat, my friend.